Hey guys, so I'm just going to do quick videos to kind of explain. I had a lot of requests for people trying to figure out how to take the backgrounds out of photos. Um, even if they don't have Photoshop, how easy it is. People make it super complicated. It doesn't have to be. It's not um, 2002 anymore. We're 2015 now. Happy New Year, by the way. Um, so today I'm just going to show you a quick how-to video on how to take the background out of just about any photo. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing we're going to do. We'll go ahead and close that one down, get you guys back into here. All right, uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find a logo, just to make it easy, quick, and easy video for you guys. Um, we're gonna find a logo, let's just look at these real quick, and let's just go with this one. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, after we pick our logos, we're just gonna drag it over to our desktop, so we'll have it on our desktop, easy to find. Bam, all right. So we have our logo. We want to take the whole background out of it. We have a cool website or a blog that we want to put it on. Um, the next thing we're going to Google search. P-I-X-L-R. It's a free web-based website that um, gives you all the software. They do a whole lot of cool stuff. If you ever get about 20 minutes, play around on their website. They do a lot of cool software, web-based, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. But today we're just going to focus on the editor. So once you're on their website, you're just going to come down and see where it says launch web app. And there we go. Once you click that, it launches you in this. You're going to basically choose an image from your computer. So let's kind of scroll down and see if we can find that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. We're going to open it up and get started. All right. So quick, real quick before we get too far. We have our navigation bar. This bar right here is going to allow us to zoom in and control what we're looking for. Uh, and you can, it's really zoom in. I mean, it's, it's high tech stuff. It's just as good as Photoshop. Um, it's not as good, but it's just as good for beginners and kind of move forward from that point. It's simple stuff. Um, right here you have your layers. I don't, even if you're not familiar with what layers are and how they work, uh, I'm going to make it super easy so it's easier to, for you guys, for new guys to figure it out. Um, then you have some tools over here, uh, mini tools, adding text, uh, sharpness, everything. Um, but today we're just going to focus on this little wand tool. This is a point wand. And basically what it does is it picks out all the same type of pixel colors. Uh, for example, if you clicked on the red, it would pick out all the red that's in this photo. If you clicked on the green and it stays connected. So for example, you clicked on the green, you see quickly how it ends and doesn't gather this green because it's disconnected. Same with the white. You'll see how it did not gather anything inside the yellow circle. So what we do is at this point, if we click mass backspace or delete, it's just gonna make, it's gonna keep it white. Uh, so the only thing we can do now is we unlock the layer. The layer is gonna make, make sure it has nothing else to go to other than transparent. Simply backspace it. Now you can see that the background and everything that's not that background stayed. You have a little bit over here, so we'll delete that as well, and we'll click over here and we'll delete those. So now we have a full transparent image with no white at all. And then in order to save this, like I said, it's super easy. All we're gonna do is go to File, Save, and it's gonna give you the save image. The biggest deal right here is the format. So if you left it as JPEG, it will keep that white background. And again, you could set it to the quality of what you want, but um, your main deal if you're gonna go for a transparent background is gonna be the PNG format. You're gonna click that, you'll see that it turned back to a transparent background, and that's how it's gonna save. Once you hit okay, it's gonna save where you want it, on your desktop, what it's called, blah, 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 and once you hit save. And it's after you save it, it's very easy just to click this, hit no, and go right back into the next photo. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe below. And if you have any questions or want to know how to from a web developer, let me know and I'll walk you through. Sounds good.